What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. This is a video review of another third-party rival round alternative. A while back, I reviewed the Cornucopia rounds. These are the Nerf rounds, and these are the new ones I'm reviewing by Headshot Ammo. Available on Amazon, link in the description box below. Why would you want to buy a third-party ammo instead of just legitimate Nerf rival rounds? The third-party ones are generally cheaper. These are definitely cheaper. Kind of, sort of, unboxing. They come in a little bag like this. Balls! This is a 110 pack, meaning it comes with 110 balls, and it also comes with a little pouch here. Why would you want a little pouch? You can put the rival rounds inside of it and then like hang it from your belt, and that's why you have a carabiner. You can clip it right on in there. Pretty cool little pouch, but um, more importantly, let's get to the balls. <laughs> so when you handle and fondle the balls, you'll notice they feel very similar to the Nerf rival rounds. I did recently review the Cornucopia ones. A headshot ammo rep saw that review and they said, hey, our ammo is better than this Cornucopia stuff and it's equivalent to Nerf rival. The uh, representative was extremely extremely confident in his emails, which I like to see. I mentioned I'd be testing it. He said, yes, throw every test at it possible, please. We have a superior product. So I, I want to test them to see. And when you're handling the balls, they feel very similar to the Nerf rival rounds. I would actually say the consistency is better than the cornucopia rounds, but still not quite to the same quality control as Nerf. Very few third party um, dart manufacturers have that excellent quality control. And that's why you pay a little bit extra when you buy a Nerf dart, because you know every dart's pretty much the same. Right now, they only offer these in yellow, but the rep did mention they're looking into other color options. But when you're looking at them side by side, they look very similar to the Nerf rival rounds. The density is similar. If I had my eyes shut and I couldn't see the color difference, I really would have a hard time to feel the difference with the vast majority of the balls, but they do still have some outliers that are just a little bit too squishy. I think, like I said, far less than the cornucopia, but they're still there. So I'm not saying it's perfect product. I'm just going to fondle these balls until I, here, here's a squishy one. You're not able to squeeze the ball, but I am. In case you don't just want to sit there and fondle your balls, you want to like shoot your balls at other people. Let's, uh, you know, do some firing comparisons to find out are these equal to the nerf rival rounds firing test sequence let's go let's load it zeus So I've shot it like six times. Now I understand this product in its entirety and I can recommend you go buy these. That's the review, thanks for watching. Just kidding, what do I look like, some type of amateur? No, I'm gonna actually test them before I share my opinion. So let's get into some actual testing. Just like when I compared the cornucopia rounds to the Nerf rival rounds, I'm gonna do a groupings test as well as a velocity test. Why are groupings important? If you have a tighter group and you put your sights on somebody, the statistical likelihood that the dart will go like and actually hit your target is greater when your group is really small. So if your whole grouping is like as big as the guy's chest, you've, you're gonna hit him pretty much. But if you have a massive grouping size, the dart might go like flying and not hit. So that sucks. Why are chrono tests important? Because assuming you have the same like aerodynamic properties are very similar. If you have a higher initial velocity, you're going to shoot the uh, projectile further. And since the mass of all of these balls are so similar and their aerodynamic properties are similar enough, you can kind of conclude if one shoots a whole lot faster, it's going to shoot further. So let's get to the test timestamp up here. If you just want to get to the conclusion and my opinion on these tests. 57 feet, six inches.
After the grouping, I chronographed everything, starting with the Apollo. Nerf rival, average velocity, 97 feet per second. The headshot ammo, 101 feet per second. Cornucopia, 98 feet per second. Average taken over 12 darts, or balls. <laughs> to the Zeus, Nerf rival, average, 84 feet per second. Headshot average, 80 feet per second. Cornucopia average, 83 feet per second. Why test the Apollo and the Zeus? Because the Apollo is a spring propulsion mech and the Zeus is a flywheel propulsion mech. And occasionally different foam attributes are really great for one propulsion and not so much the other. Like the Kush Gen 3 darts, for example, work really well with flywheel blasters, but they're a little bit less consistent with spring. All three of these ammos work pretty consistently with both spring and flywheel though. Conclusions to be drawn. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and fondle these balls. Hopefully it's not too distracting. Shoot, I'm distracting myself. This looks cool. <laughs> consistently, the Nerf rival rounds grouped a little bit better than both other third-party um, options. The headshot ammo was a close second with the Apollo, and you could see a noticeable drop-off with the cornucopia. The Apollo was the least consistent test because every time I primed the blaster, I had to move the barrel, so I could have had quite a bit of human error. Of course, I had human error in the Zeus, but for the most part, the barrel was kind of in the same spot. But with the Zeus, you could see a noticeable difference in trajectory, not necessarily the range or the velocity, but the Nerf rival round shot a little bit higher. I think it's because the hop-up unit is somehow affecting the Nerf rival rounds more so or like better than the other two options. That just means the hop-up kind of keeps it on a flatter trajectory compared to just kind of drooping down. Not really sure why, but that doesn't mean you have a reduced range. Keep that in mind. If you angle a little bit higher, you can still shoot it, you know, just as far. So while the Nerf rival rounds um, did perform better than the other two third-party options, I wouldn't say it's like dramatically better. The Nerf rival blasters in all three of these are so much more accurate than dark guns at that range anyways. Um, I'm not sure you're gonna be complaining about that small, like maybe 10% accuracy reduction, especially with the money you're saving. So, <laughs> you know. Conclusions regarding the chrono tests, all of the ammo um, performed pretty much the same. A few feet per second here and there isn't too big a deal, especially with sampling error. I've chronoed a few blasters in my time, so I can um, kind of confidently say all of the, the balls perform the same velocity wise. So that's kind of the raw data. Look at the still images of the groups, the chrono and the price and you can make your own decision. Now transitioning into my opinion, um, I think the headshot ammo is by far the best ammo per like dollar. Per round, it's a lot cheaper than the, uh, the Nerf rival ammo and it's also cheaper than the cornucopia. Price aside, I think this is a better product than the cornucopia round. So even if you don't care about money at all, I would still recommend these over the cornucopia rounds. I still think the Nerf rival rounds perform the best. I have the fewest jams, I have the tightest groups, uh, the chrono data is pretty much consistent across all of them, um, but I would still feel most comfortable shooting the nerf rival rounds in my blasters personally but per dollar or per cent per ball the headshot ammo is definitely my go-to at this point. I think their quality control is better than the cornucopia, um, but again, not quite to the nerf level. That's not really to be expected from any third-party manufacturer. I love Kush Gen 3 darts, and even with that, you still have to pick off glue on a few darts when you order, you know, a thousand. The biggest downside for me personally is the lack of color options, and it's typically not too big a deal, but these are so similar to the nerf rival rounds, it's hard to distinguish them, and I'm a little bit OCD about organization, so I want to keep them segregated. In pretty awesome light like this, you can see them apart because the headshot ammo is a little bit darker of a yellow. It's kind of orangey, orange-brown kind of, compared to the very bright yellow Nerf rival round. But in slightly dimmer light, or maybe if you're not tuning photographs and video in Photoshop all day long, and you don't train your eyes and brain to, you know, distinguish colors on that little tiny micro scale, you might not even be able to see a difference in these. I can see on my screen that these are clearly darker, but maybe you can't. I keep losing my train of thought because I just want to sit here and just roll these balls around my table. But I'm pretty sure I covered everything. The raw data should pretty much speak for itself if you just want to look over the tests and complete ignore everything I'm saying. That's kind of what I'm doing right now anyways, right? It's so much fun, but now I have to go separate all these balls. I have Nerf rival rounds and the headshot, so I have to look super close to look at the HS. If I didn't say that, I think that's funny. It actually is printed in there, HS for headshot, instead of the N for Nerf. I feel myself beginning to ramble. Overall opinion is very high of the headshot ammo. I did like the cornucopia rounds when they sent them to me, and now I'm a little bit bummed because now that I have a thousand of these headshot ammo darts, I really don't know that I'll be using my cornucopia ammo anymore, unless I just am feeling particularly pre patriotic in a day and I just need to shoot some red and blue. And they even have white ones now and lime green, so I can get red, white, and blue and just go Murica all over the place. If money is no issue whatsoever, then the Nerf rival rounds, in my opinion, are still the best uh, rival projectiles right now, but only by a slim margin. And of course, that's not because I'm a Nerf fanboy. I, I am kind of a Nerf fanboy, but I'm saying objectively, like the performance-wise, I would pick these even if I couldn't see what brand they were. So that's the review. Hopefully I'm helping you uh, fling foam more affordably. Thanks for watching. Stay tactical. Look, balls.